Na, 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 na. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I'm eating meatloaf now, so all is right with the world. It's delicious meatloaf. Anyway, I really do appreciate that. And like, yeah, that's, that's how you know. That's like... I'm gonna watch this later. <clears throat> Eber Doug. Here I come. I have to move the face shield in front of it so my microphone might cut in and out. I have decided to move my laptop off my desk so I actually have more desk space. Shoveled my TV over to the side, which means I was able to shuffle the window to the side, which means I actually have space for the arm so I can actually make use of my fucking uh, isolation seal so I can have better audio. For reasons that can only be understood. Alright. I want to get several of these things done. Right, Rajit, where are you? You're back at the castle, aren't you? Yeah, you are, you son of a bitch. I wish I could change the color of the suit. Because I'm all for her looking like a fine female explorer, but I don't like this color. saying that you I did I mean it is his name is he's waiting for me of course how I think he's good to hear you said you know gobble I've been reading it for as long as once I grew bored with the classics I have you ever spoken unbelievably no I cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and don't Lord Gok is it's like listening to a person who wants to talk, who wants to speak Japanese to a native speaker. I'm going all the way down the fucking here. Da -da 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 -da. 
Deep it up, 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 deep it How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation. Damn Bragbore and his blasted jerk. Bragbore? And not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect. They described repositories that. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified. Res Ranrock recruited others. To we were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Renrock care so? He cares about what they... C For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a map. He was, is, determined to take it for God. Here comes my friend Ami. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not. I am, um, well. Pronunciation is not the issue. I can. Just, Lord Gok. Thankfully, we... What written plans? And... We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is... And I'm unable to join you because I... All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a lo... What else should we know about the... Mm -hmm. The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend... From what I know of wizard magic... Ugh. I will a stealth for... mission. I and shall worse, see you soon. an escort stealth mission. Okay. Yes, of course. Gay, 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 So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Incendio. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Incendio. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin Thank you! Oh, whoa. Ooh, this one. Oh, whoa. Thank you. Nice. Seeing the stealth part, so it feels like I'm just doing this for no fucking I've read reason. about mines like this, but seeing them is something else altogether. Uh. 
Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. So it's seeming Ranrock like is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. Feels like I'm allowed to fight this. Watch your step round here. Oh, how long for a bacon and mushroom stew? Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Okay. I won't rest. Kill spell slot. What's that human? Than I'm used to. Okay, we're I'll swinging. get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. We're being watched by a door. We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. I'm not worried about that shit. I'm concerned about where the pipe goes. It's definitely not going anywhere. Clever. I should use disillusionment. That eye won't see a thing. Yeah, exactly. So. No, I was correct. Okay. Here, slots are full. From one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. I'm quite bound to be plans around here somewhere. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? <laughs> A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. What's going on in there?
Oh yeah, that's right, because I put this one with Imperial. <clears throat> Um. Put that on bottom. Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Rebellion. Bombarda. Confringo. Are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. So that door's already open, so how does one go there? To the top? Is there a Saren Doctor to the Coffin fucking Conrad? Maybe. If my character is canonically a whore of a witch, and she is, it could be. All that for some large rugs. Oh, 
many of them are there? Uh, that should be the last of them, Amit. Amit, you can't say that. That's racist. What are you insisting? That they're breeding like rats? Furnace, 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 furnace. Going from the other side of the door. I'll be quiet. Don't, I can't tell what the <clears throat> rarity is. Unfortunately, I have too much shit. Just have too much shit. the plants. I'd best keep looking. Revenia. A little more. Oh boy, a level 3 lock during a fucking story mission. How nice of you to put this in this location. Shaped yeah, I'm having a feeling that they decided that the I mean, if you can even call this rewards, because it doesn't feel like a reward. Cosmetic items for the room requirement does not feel like an award to me. If they were planning to just populate the game with all of these supposed reward items, and the reward is not really worth anything, I'm just, I'm just so disappointed. Also, did you just wrap me around to the beginning? You did. You did wrap me around to the beginning. That's not well designed. Hello. I chose the best one. And apparently, according to TikTok, is the best place to be. I had to go on the ground. <laughs> How nice of you to stop by. How nice of you to still be alive. That's now you nice ain't loyalty. alive no more. Imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Also, Amit, you can't say that. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. You're insisting that these goblins are one of the bad ones. You can't say that, then the magical ACLU is gonna fucking fine us.
Ravenia. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. The real question is why the fuck did they leave that there? Why does that have spikes on the bottom? I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I didn't need him with me in the first goddamn place. I could have just looked around for some shit that looked like something important, then killed everybody. Like we've been doing! Out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. No, we don't need the lift. We took a fucking shortcut. What do you mean? I feel like the separation between gameplay and cutscene immersion didn't quite reach the gap. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for- Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without- Understood? Your goblin secrets are safe with me. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ran I fear you are correct. I've been wondering about something else. Yes? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. <sighs> The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. 
<sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Alright. I have to wait for the fucking quest to complete. No quest available. Well, oh, in lieu of that. Let's go sunning where nature's running. Average risk for everyone. Let's go sunning. Or let's go selling, actually. Also, thank you, Soupy. Resource indeed. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Might as well go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Any more cozy than Hogsmeade. <laughs> Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. That is an ugly pair of glasses. Samhain Festival Garden. We're gonna see what it looks like. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. <clears throat> the You'd like me to report? <laughs> you know. Miss Ray's is running a time. However, if you're... Fl I'm not worried, Mr. I hope you are able to complete these tri... Do be careful, of course. Mm -hmm. I look forward to our next meeting. He says while holding a fucking bogger. Or whatever fucking ball that is. This game of wizard sucker. But more importantly, here. Chest. Body I'm wearing is... 95 36 this one is literally under four but what does it look like Samhain uh that's not comforting Liaison, Leprechaun, that's ugly, Regalia, ugly, 
Secret Solvers. <laughs> oh, oh lord, that's horrible. Another one with a skirt. Uh, no, I don't like the sash. Danians, whatever, has no ass. This is meh. I just don't like you in a full suit for a man. Kind of shit. Horrible. You don't even have titties. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. They don't really have any costumes that make your character look attractive. And that's just horrible. To go with the top earthen colors of the shirt. And the scarf that works and the hat doesn't work. That's horrible. A lot of these are horrible. piece that doesn't work is the fucking hat. That doesn't even make it fucking work. I mean, that kind of works. The emphasis is on kind of. More importantly, after I've done this fucking main quest, can I buy from the goddamn shop now? Read the pack, please, pretty please. What fucking like sugar on cups? When you upgrade on the way. There's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Okay, so there's literally no timing on knowing when it's never prepared. Go wrong with those. Good which choice, I'd say. Nothing worth buying is a reform. Consider yourself welcome. I'll consider myself welcome when you start selling me coforns. Sky is the limit. Up high up on the razor's edge. Pagan friends I you get paid to finish. And it takes me over there. I know I saw a mini quest here. Appearance in gold. Anything for fashion. Is what I would say. It wasn't dog shit. And where are the challenges again? And no. Because the only one that's actually meaningful to me is Magical Traces. Um, astronomy Tables provides me with a kind of bad 
Scarf, which means I don't care. I think Platinum's provide me with something that I also don't care about. I don't care about the cosmetics there. Quests provide me with Stone Necklace. Lucky Leprechaun Overcoat. Assignments are done. Combat is pretty much whatever. Protego yeah, Shielding. Resistance. Pinching Owl shit. I haven't fought more trolls, but I don't think I need to. The spider shit. Inferior shit. Field guide pages. Finding guide pages in the highlands for new gloves. The gloves kind of look okay. Yeah, none of these things I care about. I'm not even sure if I care about these conjurations. Legendary mask is garbage. They really have a problem with customization. Really, really bad problem. They're really, 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 really bad. Really, 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 really bad. I think I found every single uh, magic trace in the north here. The only thing to be left is uh, astronomy tables, which they are. And what looks like a good gun page? No. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. And then there's one magical trace over here. Over here. So we'll get that magical trace on the way out there. How will I ever seduce my goth Gorgon GF if I don't have the Riz? Exactly! There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Land is unavailable and literally next to the goddamn ground. Friend. Well, there's some troll kills there. This also explains the reason why this area seems so important. So difficult. 
really hate the fact that it's forcing me to watch cutscenes. And how the fuck am I moving around while the cutscene happens? Revenia. Needs to be a healthy medium. If you're going to lock me into a cutscene, you need to save a movement. If you're going to allow me the ability to skip cutscenes, you need to give me the ability to move around while they're happening. Granted, that's probably important tech for speedrunners, but I don't speedrun. So I don't care. At least this outfit gives her an ass. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. You can't say that, Ramod. That's racist. Do, 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 do. Certainly some of these must have areas where I can find shit. If the quest is all the way the fuck down there, so I have to go exploring it. <sighs> Bases for blackmail. Might as well go to the hog's meet again. I have to fly in that direction. There's nothing else for me to do there, so I might as well just go fucking find her where she is. Also, thank you. Smiling tire for the farrow. Off on another adventure, are we? Bitch, I stay adventuring. I hope somebody's got a mod that fixes that fucking speech line, because I hate it when that fucking thing says things. What's the, even, what's the point of even having it speak like that every time if it's not going to have unique lines as you progress the story? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to put my wand up someone's ass. I'm ready to do what's needed to take home. We must gather information from the Agapus Philbert. All right. I said, and as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the... What sort of inf- They may know what evidence, Mr. B. We simply need to- Where am I to- I do not know about- And Otto Dibble? Very well. I knew I- We need to know how- Meet me here at- Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. I really wish there was a running option, because I don't like doing this multiple times. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might- Poor Joanna and little Archie, and now Harlow has taken my- What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my con- And you dec- Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought the note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking need. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your- Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis. We Have you helped Harlow? No. I'm worried sick about that said. I was hoping he would have... Are you sure the note means... What else could it possibly mean? It may sound silly, but those were his code. Thank you. Mr. B... I shall do all I can. Very well. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check that. Uh, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps... Uh, Mr. Dibble. I have nothing to say about him. Please, sir. I... 
You know the Bickles? I know, Mr. Hill. Oh, he's a good man. It started a few weeks. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill. Mr. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, to... What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover So he wanted to steal from the equivalent thing. of the men's warehouse so longer. he could give his girlfriend I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live. I mean honestly just treat it like the fucking Walmart and just look the other way, bro. <laughs> yeah. Could you give me a bit more detail about It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has um What have you been doing to keep well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings. But, of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to... Im I met Mr. Hill. He's a lovely man. But when it comes to... I'd lose my job instantly. Thank you for telling. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in as... As for Rosie's letter, should you happen... Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about... Oh, tragic. What happened to Bickle? He wanted me to speak out against Harlow, but I feared Harlow's... If you had spoken out against him as Mr. B Perhaps. You said that Harlow committed a... Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcie, as a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate. One day, Harlow came calling. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified. And Harlow was rifling... I watched helplessly, lying there in my... I was shaken to my... I imagine you fear Harlow return... <sighs> I suppose I have no... Okay. Harlow does not like people talking. Revelio. As you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Uh, oh my god, I hate walking! Natty must be around here somewhere. She's warned. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Motherfucker, if when I get a vodka dabber, you're dying first. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Door. 
Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. Everyone dies. Be sure I'm not seen. Why? I brought every traveling vendor that passed through here. So it wasn't already personal when you kidnapped somebody? How's that? Ah! How good! And then openly talked about it in front of me? Are you mad? Are you mad, Bluff? Answer, yes. Darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over again and am certain to have read it each hour to wait to read. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon upon your life without hope. Belong to the day of our age, but be sure to come to me without possession of your father and no wonder it waiting in the subtle. No, you can only can true situations in your grasp when you say Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Revenue. Uh, 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 call. Thank you. Oh, whoa. Thank you. Chris, I haven't seen you in a bit. I have been fine. I've been playing League off camera. It has been a slow, grinding, and grueling process. But I can tell you from what I have experienced, I feel like if you're going to continue playing League, you should change to mid lane or jungle, because oh my god, the weak side worrying inside of your elo is disgusting. Disgusting. We should speak to her again. <laughs> Deal with her when he arrives. Who are you, shy? I've seen more courage in a porlock. A lamp. Now to finish the job. Expulso. Stand and fight me. Stop that right now. You die for that. Hardly felt it. Flash of inspiration. Might want to 
Sono il locale. Dueling feet, no dueling feet. You die still, homie. Pavelia. Let's see here. Book of poems, 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 book of poems. There we are. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. He must be here somewhere. Trying to go slow and dramatic and shit. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. Revenia. Alohomora. How about I don't? I just collect it myself. I need your help. Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about English you. voice coming out of an Asian right? face. Yes? Uh, of right. course, of course, of course. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe! I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Wait, Hart, we kill people. What do you mean? and put an end to Harlow once and for all. <laughs> I have a question. Are you going to stream Atomic Heart? Yes, when I'm done with this game. Mid is your worst role, iconically. Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned, in addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife. Uh, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ash One. I must insist that you leave them. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. This is one of those situations where I'm pretty sure members of the audience that were craving about the game would definitely say fuck cops. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It, it, it'd be acceptable in that situation to say fuck cops. 
Does that mean fuck all cops? No. But definitely fuck this woman. Definitely. How are you going to let people get fucking extorted? And then when you're given examples of what they're doing, you're like, no, you need to let the authorities handle it. Woman, do you not know my reputation? I kill wizards. I kill wizards. Inventively. No Avada Kedavra needed. I said that I would not get Imperial Mastery. This changes them into explosive objects, which I can then throw at enemies. Bombarda would be great. Laces would be nice. <laughs> Doctor's house call. What's this? Ah, Summoner's Court. Right, right, right. I don't want to do Summoner's Court though, because it sucks. Who would want to play Summoner's Court? It's a useless fucking minigame! Good, you're safe. Again, we kill wizards. There you are. You're in such a state. The poachers got to my gran. Someone. What do you mean? She's fine, thank goodness. But she said they took the whole place apart. I'm sorry. I should have known. And now, and what do you mean? One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the. Exactly what kind of creature is it? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than... The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which... From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moon. I take it you aren't going to... Gran wants me to stay out of it. We had the element of surprise in our side. We need allies. Merlin's beard! You're... Sounds as if we need to... We'll need to be careful in how we approach... Still, I think they may be our... I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Revelio. Back here, Mr. Speaks, of course. Let's go explore the bottom map of the half a map. First off, uh, magical traces, magical traces, magical traces. I see no. I see the battle arena, which doesn't matter. Because I don't have the spells I want to use, I don't care about Questa. I don't want to get a Dharma cart, but the try is so high. I don't think the game is worth it right now. I would definitely suggest waiting now? for a sale. 
I have seen some gameplay because Dev was playing it before I got to it. I was playing Hogwarts Legacy before Dev got to it. But, um, the game doesn't feel like it's worth money. That's just my opinion. Fooled you all. A rule? Is it in the mountain? Bailing's answer is yes. I've never seen a sword like it. Attention in defense against us. Who said you were allowed to brag? Yes, it does count as an enemy camp. Never mind. Don't care about that.
It's surprising he's still affected by Stupefy. Or excuse me, Imperio. that suction attack again. There's the other set of shrill boogies. There should be two sets. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snidgets. Meet me in the forbidden forest. Revenia. Uh, okay, I guess I'm missing him. More importantly. Venom! As much as we meme about that song, I think that rap lyric is a lot more ingenious than people want to give it credit. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Door, 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 door. You can't enter well named kid. Oh, this day's good. Not quiet enough. I think that's a worse form of murder. Getting transformed into an exploding cask that then gets thrown into someone. dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm not sure I understand the logic about putting a fast travel point at a location like this. Revelio. Because if fast travel points were developed as a means of better travel, what the fuck is the point of putting a fast travel point here inside of the location of what is clearly a forgotten and dugout mine system? Nice to see you, my young friend. It feels like it's a nitpick, but it's honestly just annoying. We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Enjoy suffering, do ya? Bombarda! Oh, that's the stone to release oaks. Now you fall to your death. 
wasn't worth it, was it? fucking mountain? It is. And that's the way to get through the next area. Okay. That seems a bit dumb. If you're asking me. For getting you practice in mid, the only the um, um it's actually very difficult if I give you advice on that, Chris. Because the difference is is that the advice that I can give you as a player who's playing weak side warrior and top side, and as a weak side defender as a jungler is not the same advice I can give you as a mid. Playing mid is all about rotations, rotations, timings, and shoves, making a person either have to be awkward and punished because you're playing assassins and you're punishing them or looking for advantages through push power because you can shove wave harder and faster than they can and either learning how to win lane or learning how to farm to scale i would always suggest teaching you how to play scaling champions first and aurelian soul is extremely strong in this patch because he not only has extremely strong team fighting and extremely powerful splitting but he also has extremely powerful ganks and roams. And above all else, he is a counter-engaged champion. So a lot more of your focus and time is going to be spent on punishing people, overstepping their boundaries, than needing to be the assassin who's punishing positioning. It's a lot more successful, a lot more... Um, stable. And worthy of your time. Because it doesn't require any unique, uh, skill. All it requires is that you understand that if somebody starts to roam the map, you need to find a way to punish them for doing so. Either by getting platings, or by killing them, or by threatening a roam of your own. Cross-map failures are extremely important for this. And that is probably the best way to learn how to counterplay someone being shit. You could force yourself to learn Zed, you could force yourself to learn uh, LeBlanc, you could force yourself to learn Fizz. But realistically, you're going to want to look for control mages. wonder if I'm safe to explore in that. And another one. The epigraph marks the spot. Don't care. Hello, Mr. Troll. I'm gonna kill you now. around Fellcroft for something to poach. Rock Barrow, mm. 
Now, see, Fog can be your friend, but uh, you have to be a friend to Fog. Really? That doesn't count? Interesting. Henrietta's map. Something to do with a thing on a thing with a thing. Hmm. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. No good. That's the fucking quest starter. Okay, whatever. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Where even is the enemy? Ravenia. In the tower. I have a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. You. Look, woods don't go down easy. I think I won't remember your face. That got Bringo. Well done. I'll try again. Cynthia. Do you feel a sir? Underneath me? I've heard sent your... Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Levioso. <laughs> Hold still! Levioso! <laughs> Levioso! <laughs> Someone messing about. Yeah. 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 Something. Yeah. It isn't. Yeah. Red will. Yes, goodbye. Your poaching days are What over. an interesting ragdoll. Revelio.
Da -da 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 -da. And I'll take my prize. Herbology. Why is a section of the map that is further away from me containing level 1 and level 2 traits? Why aren't you putting the level 3 traits further out on the excerpts of the map as I begin to explore more with the game? That's really annoying. What have you done? Like, really, really fucking bad. Exactly, does it want me to go? It's telling me to go to the cave system I just found. Why wouldn't you have a point to connect it to the outside of the mountain? My friends. Off on another adventure, are we? That's like that's so stupid. What? The road is here. This leads up here. This goes inside. But there is no doorway that leads you to this section. Why would you put this here? What the fuck? That's so bad. Yeah, Zyra is like an extremely powerful go-to support that was able to transition to mid, but in the 200 years of Riot experience in 2022, 2021, and 2023, you can't play a champion like Zyra in mid, otherwise she just immediately dies. You can play it to success if you understand how to do the fundamentals, but... Apples to apples, if you just pick this champion, you're actually griefing. Looking at the goddamn text. Where is it? Mysterious castle map. On fire, use ice, make it look like this. Underside. It's clearly talking about that castle. Doesn't surprise me you're looking for bravery since you're so short on it yourself. Woman, isn't it? I know you're the one who stole our picker grip. We've been looking for you.
that's more like it. Ancient Magic Focus 3. Mm mm. Not sure I understand why you designed it like this, bro. Should be in the right cave. Rebellion. That feels like it should be the cave entrance. This place has seen better days. Ha. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. So, castle, castle, castle. Castle is over here. This. It's clearly a furry. To that hill section. Eight legs is simply too heavy. 
Revelio. Around the castle. I'm looking for a giant hole. <gasps> Here's a pleasant surprise. This looks like trouble. Maybe I'm wrong? It doesn't feel like I'm wrong, but maybe I'm wrong. It's not making sense. These rocks have seen better days. Because if this is it, and that is the cave, where the fuck was the hippogriff?
see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Wonderful. Is this the proper cave entrance? Avelio. Mm, going to say no. Adding fucking pieces to outside puzzles behind locks. Well, that's the one way to make me hate your fucking puzzle design. Because that's not a puzzle. Treasure, bro. <gasps> Alright, clear this one out. And this is back to the hole. There's supposed to be a phoenix. I saw no phoenix. Who lived here, I wonder? Only thing here is this stupid fucking Merlin trial shit. Nothing here on the rock slide. So what the fuck is the solution to this puzzle? Mm -hmm. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Fair locked door. What is this symbol? This looks like a Freemason. Alohomora. Because there is one just like this with Inferius in front of it, back on the other side of the map. There's 
looks intriguing. Okay, yeah, whatever. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Webb and I from the Ashwinders. Bredenia. So far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop her. That is, I think, the first time I got a treasure vault of that type and there was enemies waiting for me inside. Too bad they are basically one-tapped. It isn't Dora Treadwell's precious little god. Shall we? Take those boogies, thank you. Are you going to attack me, sir? Enjoy stealing hippogriffs, do you? Leviosa. Yes. <laughs> Thought we'd forget about that Leviosa. goblin home, you nick. This is a problem with this type of dueling feat. <laughs> because it takes them forever to fucking decide if they're going to attack or not. Probably because they were putting it for people who would not be comfortable with uh, multi combat. I'm stuck there waiting for you. Decide to attack me. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You have a pad here with no boulder. That doesn't make sense. Rebellion. All the way down there, really? I saw hoof prints in the forest the other day that I swear belongs to the
versus Gento. This is new. I should investigate. And here I thought it was going to be a push and freeze puzzle. I have yet to get a puzzle that's telling me to push or pull something and then freeze it in place. You'd imagine, you'd think they'd do that, but no. Give and take this. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. I'm feeling my mouse fucking uh, shake. I can't tell if it's because of the enemies. Intriguing. Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. You have to learn to share. This is a different one. Hippogriff, surrounded by flames, move down, 
normal catacombs entrance. Mirror Rebellion. front. Nothing lights up. I, I legitimately, I legitimately do not understand. down here was his chest. <sighs> Any scripted videos coming up? Yes. Soonish. I have like five projects in front of myself. Two of which were projects from last year that were supposed to be out by September that I put off because of the fact that the subject matter in question was basically, hey, somebody made a hit piece about me. Here's me debunking it. Must be something I'm missing about this fucking map. Oh, I found the problem. And yes, I did just look at a map. The problem is there is an entire section of this over here is where the quest takes place. But I didn't tell you that. It does not tell you that. So there's no way for you to even know that you're in the wrong place because it's not even showing up on the map. Mm. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm going to continue marking my flames now. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Phoenixes? Nifflers! Oh my god, I don't care! The 
beast is safer now. And Ancient Magic Focus 1. So Ancient Magic Focus 1 and Ancient Magic Focus 3 were in the same area, but Ancient Magic Focus 2 was in the beginning area of the game. Bro, that doesn't fucking make sense. <laughs> Moon calves. Riffs. I'm dead ass just looking for one. Just one Phoenix. That's all I want. My young friend. Cute. Excuse me? Okay, invisible wall. Also, how did I discover that? I didn't even follow it anywhere. Kind of annoying game. Revelio. So where the fuck is the way inside? Legitimate, what the fuck is this way inside? <gasps> Sir, you just did not let me in. What? Are you serious? I literally... I literally jumped on the goddamn roof and tried to jump down. And you kept telling me, nope, invisible wall, invisible wall. I roll through, and then you let me in. That's broken.
So what's the point of that? What's the point of slowing down the movement? Just let me walk across normally. It's fucking stupid, bro. Plus, what is the point of telling me, uh, you can't enter this one while mounted, if you're going to give me the ability to mount and fly into the other one? If only Professor Fig could have seen that. Mm. It's just really bad. It's just really bad. things all the way the fuck down here. Turn my back for one second and when we're done here, I'm going to drink the whole thing. Rebellion. Okay. Lone peer with no purpose other than for a specific challenge. Let I've used the dark arts several times. Can't I? Oh. You're the one who stole our god. Die for that. Expulsion! Can't petrify yourself. What are you folks on? You're the one who freed a hot hypocrite. No matter how many of us you... It's Nora Treadwell's little saviour. You've a little dark magic in you. Now you've gone too far. Betting on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made here. Marine Ween ruins. That sounds like a slur. At least the water effects look okay. That's gotta count for something. Right. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Another one of the murals. Purpose of the pool. Supposed to be the order I pull them in. Yeah. I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of having multiple levers, right? I really feel like that defeats the purpose of having multiple levers. I'm also not understanding the reason why you would put these inside of like, you up to these areas in these houses. That's another thing I don't understand. Are you giving yourself a win back, bruh? What is what is what is what is what is going on here? Okay. Alright. Weird. Meeting, grief, and vengeance. Continue with sky's the limit. Definitely go here, hoping they have a fucking store so I can sell my items. You're a thief. Interesting. Cute villa. I don't know why those look like birds to me from a distance. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Hooray. I do hope he hasn't been kidnapped or eaten. Hello, madam. I'm simply beside myself since... I'm sorry to hear that you're... Thank you. I pre... Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled... They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse. Filled her car. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in... Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about... I'll keep an eye out. Oh, that's terribly... If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. No, what do nice. you have Can for I sale? see your items now? What's brought you here today? Selling my shit. That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Can never have enough stock. That's what I say. You and I have begged a different lady. Hmm. 
Thank you for stopping by. Do I have an opinion about how dumb these quest objectives are getting? Rebellion. I feel like I do, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's worth bitching about. Something along the lines of the reason why this kind of quest design and something like Fallout 3 was good was that you could have a quest on one part of a DLC take you to an area of the game that you might not have explored on your own if you were literally playing the game for the first time. And the difference between that and this is that going to a place like the Dunwick building after going to the Krevechniv in Point Lookout was the purpose of giving you something to do. It gave you a thing that brought you to another thing that you probably would not have interacted with otherwise. Whereas these are just, here's an item. Here's an item in a place that's far, far away. Here's an item in a place that's not only far away, but has real, real connecting purpose between it and the last piece of landmass that was nearby. Traveling to these flu flames what is more for the means of convenience for potential quests in the future than it is for experimentative discovery as than it was in the beginning of the game. In the beginning of the game, going to each one of these on foot in the area of Hogwarts was an adventure, taking me throughout the countryside, and eventually finding points of interest that would become something for me to do later. Now, they are chores. They are chores for me to go after. And the more annoying getting to the point of interest it is, the more POI and the need to give them something to be like for me to go to those POIs begins to show the repetitive nature of the design of the map. And ultimately, the design of the overworld. And ultimately, not just the design of the overworld and of the map, but of the game and its basic barebone framework in its entirety. Exploration should be fun. Exploration should not be a chore. And even if this was a AAA game that was designed to be open world, the problem with it having an open world that feels empty as shit is that if you fill it with bullshit that I don't care about, it might as well as be empty. Quiet. Too quiet if you ask me. I'm ripping and dying, are we? I don't think you know. <laughs> Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. That's some lag. That's some lag. That's some lag. That's probably because he was despawning. Thank you. 
Venia. Well, how marvelous. Okay, but where's the last one? What was the point of... Okay, th this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, okay? What was the purpose of having a puzzle if the puzzle is going to start doing some shit and at no point in time does it even give you the ability to do what it's been doing this entire time? You showed me a map that went that way in the sky. You had me look up and around the structure. Why would you have this... Now floating over a fucking boat. With no strand pointing to the direction of where the fuck the goddamn piece is. That's just bad camera work. And if that's how the camera works in that situation, why did you program it that way? Appearances. I intended on doing a lot of fucking major quests, but this area is just full of so much dense shit. And even as I'm speeding and crossing over and sometimes even skipping battles... I doubt it's a fucking beast I want. No. It just feels really fucking lazy. It feels lazy, search is lazy. Is that the moon? I guess. No witch or wizard will be spared. It's not even anything in the area of this place. Rebellion. Yeah, it's not even anything in the area of this place. It's fucking wild, bro. How do you put an area near a goddamn point of interest for a fast travel, and there's nothing there? You haven't had mushroom stew like that. This will not be another setback like those. on Ranrock's hands. Control. Rebellion. All the way over there. 
I literally have to cross all the way to back to that side of the map to find something. The closest fucking vista with something here is here. Like I did. in London. Revelio. Herbology. Is it in the mountains? Yes, it is. But is it in the mountain? It might be. Yes, it is. <sighs> this looks intriguing. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Woman, fuck do you mean? Not sure the reason why you had to make it untraversable, but okay. Rebellion. Wow, that's sad. You put nothing here, but you put all this shit here just so a person try to get to a treasure vault. That's disgusting. At least that's a fesh. <laughs> shit. Threstral. Thestral? Thestral. Then. Near it. Mm. 
How do you feel about HP in general? How do you feel about the game's story? Is it because they were rushed? Um, this game has been in development for a while, and it feels more like this is the consequence of Troy Leviatt being fired. Or rather, Troy Leviatt resigning his position because he didn't want everybody else on the project to be harassed along with him. The emptiness of most game worlds lend itself to people being shit at knowing how to fill that world with anything meaningful or good to do. So, like Anthem, basically. Uh, yeah, I got this nice, wonderful world design and this nice, wonderful engine for the game to run on, but there's nothing to do in the world because the world's empty because they never thought, what is the player going to do to fill this world with something viable to do? So, like, in a Harry Potter game, I would have so, so many mini-games, so many mini-games around notable events Off from the books, around interesting concepts and ideas from movies and whatever i could be able to ask joan to tell me would be a thing to build the world with and how to proceed forward with ideas of our own to put together interesting mini games and smaller mini games in the form of these treasure vaults and shits to do but rather than just ah do a thing find a cube place it on a pedestal hit it with fire and that sends you to this thing that has gear and the gear is randomized, but the gear isn't also useful because some of it could be the same item just regurgitated with a new design, with a new stat that, with arbitrary legendary stats. But here's a notable piece of equipment, but you can't do notable people from the films and the games because this is a game that takes place before those people even exist. So that can't be done. All of these things have the ramifications of either somebody being lazy <laughs> or some catastrophic action that led to a person not being involved in the way you'd want them to be involved. And I think the answer is because they lost their game director. The game director wasn't around because he had to leave the project, because people this were harassing him, because he had the audacity to criticize any Sarkeesian. Target practice. So, if the reason the game is feeling so empty and then haphazard and lazy is because, oh, yes, this is a sacrifice. That would reflect, I wouldn't say poorly, but would be addressed and given its proper due fair shake in review. Not sure how because I if it's because like they were removed from something, like, say, a person who was important to the project died, kind of like what happened with Resident Evil Village, that one uh, mocap actress for the daughters of a uh, hot titty golf lady. That that character. When that when that actress died, that's a case of okay. If there's something fucked up the motion capture with anything to do with this inside of the area of the first of the castle. If there's anything wrong with Demetrescu's motion capture, if there's anything wrong with the daughter's motion capture, if there's anything wrong with the lines from said character, we know the reason why. We can't fault them. If the final works and acts of an actor who is supposed to be involved with the project is not completed because they're dead. So the scenario of what happened with Detective Pikachu, Robin Williams was the first, last, and only choice for Professor Oak, and because Professor Oak couldn't be in the film, they just scrapped it entirely? If it's something like that, then we can say, okay, nobody gets blamed for this. They, they died. Kind of like, well, I wouldn't say, I actually, let me take, let me take that statement back before I even finish that. It's, I wouldn't say necessarily like what happened with Wakanda Forever, but for whatever was going to be the involvement and the process to justify the existence of of basically making the child of the girlfriend character from the first Black Panther into the mother of this child that was kept secret by the queen and literally everybody in court from literally the sister character who becomes the main character of this film. Um, when you lose an actor like that, that is not your fault. It's not the fault of anybody in the team. It's not the fault of the press. It's not the fault of a journalist that could be blamed for something. It's no one's fault in that situation. When a person is being cut up from a project, 
because somebody was dog shit at their job and cost them that huh, time and focus and understanding. That is also not their fault. When it becomes, we fired a person, or a person was fired, and the person who was left behind to fill their project, somebody who was probably a clout chaser, who had literally no problem taking accountability or taking control of all their projects, and it turns out that they're dog shit, and this is in an office like the situations and scenarios surrounding Dream Daddy, you know, what was happening with Ding, what is happening with Ding Dong and Julian, and what was done afterwards with everything to do with Dream Daddy and all the drama and controversy because of Aaron Hansen deciding, nah, our token gays didn't defend us? Hmm, I feel petty about that. Things like that, that goes to the blame of one, who's in charge. Then two, the people who are responsible for causing the decisions to be made in the first place. And then three, who was left behind to have to give a reason and an explanation. If the explanation's bad, it's gonna be reflected bad, poorly against them. When you tell me I have access to a royalty-free Harry Potter license, Joan's making me do nothing by the books. I can literally do what all of these shows and TV series demand they want, or rather wish that they could do, like, uh, the Rings of Power, Richard Blood Origins. When I have a open world Harry Potter royalty free license game, which means I don't have to do things based on what's in the source material, I can literally do whatever the fuck I want. I can come up with as many ideas as I want. I can do literally everything. I have a carte blanche free open ticket. When I have this kind of a template to work with, to not do more shit is a bit terrifying. Why do you look like Harry Potter? Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh, if you've got some we Spiders do tend to appear in- You've saved me life. Oh, must stay away. Oh, and thank you. Please accept it. I don't need your potions. I could craft more if I wanted. Now I'm here. All these stupid fucking side quests. When you have all these opportunities, this open, free template, upon which to make a good game with, and you do nothing with it, or you do very little with it, or it feels like it's an underwarming experience because it's supposed to be a light level, not actually an open world video game, which, as we can clearly see from the amount of story-based events, that are just locked off from you until the game decides you can now go explore the area. That's really what it's feeling like. It's feeling more like an open world visual novel, which is a very on rails experience. Once it's decided I have the permission to do these collections and side quests, then I'm allowed to do it. When you have a game that feels like this, where rather than this looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Allowing it I'm to be here. something good. What is this? What what is this? Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Hello again, Imelda. What the fuck is the guy in the a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our class. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive. I'm surprised our new That's I know I can be impatient, but I and in my experience, <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. We'll soon see how I fit. <laughs> Get ready to- I really don't like the fact of how they have that voice actor doing her lines. She's like a young Michelle Williams. Made it! I don't know how it is, but the drum feels less controllable with the second upgrade.
I'll finish my thought after I'm done with this race. I can't think and maneuver at the same time. That wasn't too difficult. Or can I? No, no, I'll just wait. So as we're saying, when you have a framework like this to work off of, not making the use most of it is really shameful. That was quite something. And fucking it up the way that they Impressive have. Impressive work today. Disgusts but me. Don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as. Do you get your comp? <laughs> you could say that. Well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me? Something about the free. I take it you want. To... I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and. Th As for a team, it's the holy head. When I'm finished with school? Herbology, perhaps? Because if that. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. You're welcome to run them. Anyway. It's been fun. Com has been fun. Glad you're an asset. I'm an you asset to your yourself. house. Now all you had to say was race and it'd be even funnier. But anyways. This game is way too fucking empty. In places where it doesn't make sense. And to think that you just peppered Merlin trial after Merlin trial after Merlin trial on this map. But the rewards for exploration basically only go up to 12 for ancient magic for inventory space 20 maryland trials basically nothing of value here on the astronomy table unless somebody already knows what this gives there's no reason to do anything past the base once you have technically you don't even need fill guide pages if you want to be serious because what, what do you use them for? Once you have things that actually help you, like meaningfully the defense traits, these could technically help people who are bad enough that they need them. But everything else doesn't matter. It's just, it's just bad. I think that's just the best I can say. It's just bad. Now, how do I feel about HP? I'm assuming HP meets Harry Potter there. Um, I feel the license needs some Lego. It needs more Lego. But, like, it needs, like, a Lego version of Harry Potter. That's what it needs. It needs a Lego version of Harry Potter um, that is disconnected from the books. So, basically, Lego Hogwarts Legacy. Because... A Lego franchise game, like Lego Star Wars, is a lot more fun after the initial five streams than it is right now. Because again, everything feels like a chore. Everything feels like a chore. 
I'm having to do a lot of fucking groundwork just to be able to get my waypoints, let alone anything else. And it's just too much of a fucking chore. <sighs> yawny boy. I'm a yawny boy because I didn't take my mid-morning meat. I can't tell if this is... Uh... No, it is moving in line with my cursor. Okay. That's helpful. I thought I was having a fucking eye... I thought I was having a fucking eye stroke. But, um... I don't know how to feel... Once... Until I know how much left I have in the game. So, like, this save file right now is at 41 hours. If you cut out all the side questing and exploration I've done... And, like, maybe two or three hours, give or take... That I left it on overnight because I forgot to turn it off... Because Jay didn't want to play Hogwarts Legacy that day... Since she and I are both playing it, and I'm sharing it with her so she can play it. I've spent maybe 30-ish hours in the game. I don't think this is supposed to be longer than, like, if you just go from quest to quest to quest on the main line. I don't think it's supposed to be longer than a day. I don't think it has more than 24 hours worth of, like, story content. And I already gave my opinion about that. This game feels like it's supposed to be a visual novel that takes place in an open world. And, like, the idea of the immersion is supposed to be part of all of these stupid overworld challenges. But these overworld challenges don't feel like they actually do anything meaningful. And they don't feel like they exist for any other purpose than to fill the empty spaces that they have. Because if they didn't have them there, it would be even emptier than it is. And in the places where it's really fucking empty, what's supposed to give you the reason to do anything? Everything that is actually beneficial and useful to you is something that doesn't actually do anything after a certain number. There is no reason to do more Merlin Trials after you get the last Merlin Trial that gives you the last amount of space upgrade because there's no reason to do any Merlin trials past that because there's no point to them. Like, the idea of what kind of Merlin trial puzzle they put in that area might be interesting, but there's no actual purpose to them. And I don't count achievements as a purpose because we're mostly playing these games in Steam. Unless we're talking about an actually seriously difficult game like Ring of Pain or The Dark or Darkest Dungeon 1 or 2. There's no reason for me to care. There's no reason for anyone to care. Especially if it's supposed to be something that's supposed to have replayability. Because I don't see the replayability of this game. Like, the only replayability that would exist is, Oh, the quest that I didn't get to do as this house, and this house, and this house, and this house. And once you do that, what's left? 100%ing the overworld four times? Why? Experiencing the quest four times? Why? And I know the game has multiple endings, and that's not even accounting for the fact that most of those were spoiled for us. And regardless of the multi -tier, like the multiple multitude tiers of endings, say that to five times last. There's no reason. Like I, I got an ending. I'm gonna see what the other ending is. Google, YouTube. If. You bought the game because you wanted to play the game. It feels a little bit like a scam. If you bought the game because you wanted to, and you knew what you were doing, was specifically throwing it away because you wanted to support the developers that made the game, and you wanted to support the energy and the spirit behind the point of Troy Leviat. If you looked forward to expecting a good game outside of like combat, you got gypped. Which goes along with my opinion of what I said earlier about Atomic Hearts. This game and it both feel like they were games that probably should have been on sale. Uh, that's just me. That's just me. And technically, the criticism applies even better to Atomic Heart since Atomic Heart started as a film project. And a film idea that was then made into a video game. To say that this is like a new age movie video game, and by movie video game I mean The Last of Us 2 movie, not a movie tie-in. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be inaccurate. It's got a little bit more going on for it here than something like The Last of Us Part Ducks, but uh not good. Right now, overall, it feels like a 3 out of 10.
I am going to take a little nap now. I'm done playing for today. No stream tomorrow, today, early in the morning. It's not tomorrow, is it? No, 10. Um, no stream Tuesday, because that's D&D. Campaign's starting to heat up quite a bit. So check that out. I'll be there with Aiden and friends tomorrow. If I do stream tomorrow, it'll be like very short early in the morning before sound check. So stay tuned for that. Okay, everybody, I'm leaving. I love you. Goodbye. Bye-bye now.